Good morning. Welcome back. I'm back out on the Marsh 650. This is the last day on it. So it goes back this week. But this video is not all about the Marsh. It's not anything to do with the Marsh, actually. It's to do with this. The Insta360 X3. Join me after the intro and we will talk all about it. See you in a minute. Hello and welcome. I'm Richie Vida. Thank you very much for being here. So yeah, this video is all about the X3. This new Insta360 X3. I've been a user of the X2, or should I say the One X2, for quite a long time. But, um, and now I've got my hands, my filthy hands, filthy mitts, on the new X3. 360 cameras are so, so versatile. It really doesn't matter where you put the camera, you're still going to get a great shot. It's a learning curve using a 360 camera. As I said, it's so versatile. And I quickly realised that you can literally do anything, anything with it. So There's so many different modes. At the moment, I'm in um, single mode, single lens mode, so it's pointing back at me as a, like a vlogging, talking to you camera. But if you have it in 360 mode, you can literally stick it anywhere you want and frame afterwards. Doesn't matter if it's pointing at the floor, at the sky, you can frame it afterwards in post-production. You can do the post-production on your phone with, with the app, and that is actually so easy. I've never done that before um, until I did the other day. Um, I took the camera to one of my band gigs. I just thought, I'll stick it up. I'll, I'll, I'll connect it to the microphone stand on the invisible selfie stick. I'll just switch it on and, you know, again, it doesn't really matter where it's pointing. Just reframe it afterwards and I'll see, you know, when I get home, what I can uh, do with it. And again, rather than doing it through my computer, I just thought, because this is just me getting used to the camera as well, I'm just going to stick it, uh, I'm just going to open up the app on my phone and, and you know, reframe and, and, and render it out off my phone. And it's so easy because you literally just sit there in your phone and it was almost like I'm on the stage. So I, I, just, I was watching the video as it's um, reading it and just doing this with my phone. Like, so if the guitarist did a solo, just looked over at the guitarist and then back on me on the piano and it renders out in no time at all on your phone. It's actually quicker on my phone to render than it is on my computer. <laughs> we'll get into that another day. Um, so like I say, you can do this just in uh, single lens mode. So it's just pointing at you. You do have to kind of frame it and get it set up right. Or you can switch it over into 360 and do very cool things like this with it. I'm just going to pull up, stop recording there, and I'm going to change the setting. Look at the vibrations of this single cylinder. Burp. So click it into 360 mode. Back onto video. And now it's a 5.7K. 25 frames a second you can change all this as well um, but this now literally sees absolutely everything and again this invisible selfie stick is fantastic push it up there do that so you can do cool things like this with it and as well again in post-production you can zoom in and you can zoom out literally do anything you want shots like this for instance and the technology is that good that it just deletes the selfie stick so it really looks like it's um, a drone following you you know you can get some really epic drone shots without a drone links to everything that you'll need are down in the description below comes with tons of um, accessories you've got a proper motorcycle bundle there's actually a sale on as well at the moment that runs out very soon so it's 5.7k because it's filming 
360 degrees. But like now, for instance, looking from this camera to that, it looks like it's all really wonky and not set up right at all. But that's the beauty of it, because you really don't need to. You really don't need to set it up correctly. You do all that in post-production. We went to the coast with uh, got a family holiday last week. Went to the coast. I took took the camera with me to try and get to grips with it. So you get shots like this. Um, you can see me holding the selfie stick. But um, it's just so easy. The, the quality is so good. I think once you get to grips with the fact that no matter what you do with it you can decide what to do with it afterwards so put it in 360 mode start shooting do what you want with it point it in any old direction and then in post-production you decide what you want it to look like and you can change you know like i say you can zoom in you can pinch out it also came with um this selfie stick that's on now, invisible selfie stick, is about 1.2 meters long. So it's perfect, really, for you know just walking around or vlogging, whatever. It's perfect. Um, I'll show you. Look. And you can get some real cool looks with it. But as you can see, you can't see the stick. Obviously, you guys can see it where I'm showing you. But from the footage of the camera, you just can't see anything. But it also came with a, a three meter selfie stick. Three meters. So you can get some really cool shots with that. If you look on the Insta360 website, you'll see some of the shots that you can get with it. It's, it's truly remarkable, really. What an amazing piece of kit. Oops, I've just gone over a squirrel. An expired squirrel. The battery lasts at least an hour, it's probably more like hour and a half. But if you you know you can you can power it on the go from the USB-C port. It's fully waterproof to 10 meters straight out of the box. You can really you know turn it around or do whatever you want with it after the fact. And that's what I love about it. It's got a me mode as well, this model, which just focuses on you for the filming rather than post-production. So you can just hold it out with the invisible selfie stick and it will focus on you and no matter what you do with the camera or you know twisting and turning or what have you if you move the camera it won't look at anything else other than you I found it could be a bit time consuming editing on your computer afterwards for inclusion and things like this another film but if you just use this on its own, you know, when you're walking around or, like I said, for the band or anything like that, and then you can edit it in the app on your phone, it takes seconds and it's so easy. As I said, I'll include links down below for the sale and um, for what I have. So the X3 motorcycle bundle and the you know the various other accessories that I've got with it the selfie sticks and I've got a remote for it although I've not used it yet so I guess like you know if you put the camera on the three meter um, selfie stick so the camera's all the way up there you can't reach it you can put a remote on your like a you can wrap it actually around the bottom of the oops, around the bottom of the uh, selfie stick or you can wrap it on your on your arm like a like a watch very handy and you know the quality of it all when I emailed them to let them know I'd received it I even said you know I'm actually blown away by the quality the quality is so high everything feels really good and these clamps that come with it again 
you've got all kinds of different possibilities for mounting and they're all really 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 good really good quality I'm just going to start a time shift video on it so as I said it's waterproof straight out of the box you just got so much more capabilities you've got the one camera but you can do all sorts with it it's got this new big screen on it as well whereas the old one used to have like a screen the similar size to the lens and it was a bit of a bugger to see a lot of the times you know when, you, when you're changing settings and things like that it was a bit it was doable but it's not as nice as this lovely big screen the only thing you do have to remember with cameras like this you've got a lens on each side so you can't put it down without the rubber cover that it comes with well it comes with a rubber cover and it comes with like a, a pouch the pouch is probably better because it's softer but if you get a scratch on one of the lenses you're going to spoil your 360 quality because you're always going to see a little bit of something and on that same note you've always got to make sure both lenses are clean because again there's nothing worse than having your shot ruined by like a, a bug or a fingerprint or something it'll look a bit milky so always 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 make sure your lenses are clean give them a quick wipe even like a you know a light filming of dust like like today you know just from road dust will, will impact it so always just uh, yeah always just give it a clean I mean, it kind of goes without saying but you you kind of have to really remember to make sure you do do that thank you to insta360 for sending me the camera to make a video on